Here it is another cold day in Indiana and we're going up to Mopar National so hopefully get some parts and we'll see how everything is and it's too goddamn early. See you guys there. Turn right at Coliseum Avenue. Quarter mile. So, hey you guys. Sorry about that. I have to walk back to the truck because I forgot his mask. Um, we are here to swap meet. If I see any other cars, anything that I think you guys will find cool, I will turn the camera back on. I'll show you guys what we got when we leave. How are you guys doing? This is Sunday night. I went to the Mopar swap meet yesterday. Got some stuff I'm going to show you guys. If you guys are ever around Indianapolis, Indiana at this time, um, I think it's the 6th and 7th of this month each year, um, good swap me to go to, especially if you're looking for Mopar stuff. But I'll show you guys what I got. Not a lot. I was able to get a, two or three things I needed. But the one thing I really wanted to get was a set of headers for this, but I couldn't find none because I'm not going to pay $200 for... A set of used ones that are rusty i'll just pay the extra 70 dollars and get a set of hookers so show you guys what i got i got upper door pieces for my car for both sides for i think 40 bucks is what i paid i was able to get these which my car did not have any interior pieces like this in it. Let me get a good view of it for 10 bucks for both. A new, I think it goes, um, window cell panel, I think is what it's called, rear window, for paid 40 for it. So, there's that. Um, I was able to get a set of these for 40 bucks, which. I'm gonna go in a little detail here for you guys. Never mind the missile and workbench, but 
for any non like diehard Mopar people that are on my channel. This is a car mount. This is a truck mount. See, when I got my Dart, I did not know that. I did not know that they made two separate mounts because I'm used to Chevy stuff, which most Chevy stuff is just, you can use car mounts. You know, there's no such thing as a car mount. There's just mounts. So, thanks to some Roquel and Roquel garage shows, I was able to learn that, hey, you can't use this mount unless you cut it down and make a fit. These are car mounts. Well, something else I just learned is, you guys can read that. I paid 40 for these, I think. So I paid, um, they're 13 mounts. I have a 360 there. Get that baggie. So, you have to manufacture and make them fit. So, I've looked up how to do that. Something about you have to use a spacer or what another ear on it and all that BS. This pump and that are for the truck, the 44 SS. That is another video entirely. I just rigged up something because I wanted to see if it worked. We paid, um, I think, 30 for this stuff. So, so. bought these which i've heard some of our guys say you don't need slapper bars well you may not need them but there's something cool about having slapper bars on your car i'm gonna sand these down paint them back to yellow and i'll put them in my car you know if anything just for looks i mean they might work um i bought these instead of five nine magnum roller tip rockers i paid 40 for these and they put you know, got the locks and all that crap in it. They're not locks, but the nuts. All that crap. Um then especially if you guys look for sheet metal for um really any Mopar. I paid I suppose like gasoline, but I paid $17 for this. Uh, let me see if it's got a price. Let's put out the price to you guys. Yeah, it doesn't say on here, but 17 bucks for this, which is really a good price. But, probably if you guys are building really any Mopar, there is a I don't have their card here, but there's a company up there that sells AMG sheet metal. They sold, they had floor pants, fenders, hoods, all kinds of shit. And I think $17 for this is pretty cheap because let's face it, when mine came to me, this was completely rusted out. And plus, I have, we'll talk about that here in a minute, but there's that. And that's pretty much all I bought, I think. Oh, I haven't showed you guys this yet. Oh, that's cardboard. This, this is a Holly 750 vacuum secondary. I bought this from my neighbor, Jacob. Give me a really good deal on it. So thank you, Jacob. So, let me try to, this gosh dang gas stop leaking. Uh, so let's talk about the dart real quick. Under the hood, under the hood, I was going to paint this black. I think I told you guys that in a previous video. I have decided against that. Because, let's face it, these cars, when, they're, when they came out, the under hood wasn't black. It was the factory color. And again, I'm going to paint this car. Someday, whether I do just the primer... You know, the body work in the primer and then take it up to somebody's like Mako in Indianapolis and get it painted. Or if I do it myself. So, why not just make it, and we'll paint it anyways, the body, the same color. Why not just paint it under the hood? And that's already done. So, yeah. Um, I don't think of anything else that I could tell you guys. There's some really cool cars up there. Like, I'm going to post a picture at the end of this. 
I'm just talking at the end of this section where I'm talking. Should have got some of the cars that were up there. Like I said, I didn't really get to film a lot of the swap meet, but I did film the road trip up there. Kind of hard to film with when you're walking around with shit in your hands, but a lot of cool cars. Like there was a, uh, I don't think I got a video of it, but there was a red, uh, I can't think of the name of the Mopar. It's a uh, Polara. There you go, Polara. Two doors, like a 62, 63, 64, somewhere in the early 60s. And it, they wanted like three grand for this car, and it came with extra floor pans out of Poly 318, which I'm not a 318 fan, so. So, a Poly 318 and all, I, I mean, if you just want something to drive around, yeah, 318, but me personally, I guess it is a lot. If I'm going to build something, I want to build something that's got cheap catches, you know, like if there's 318 versus a 360. I'd rather build a 360, you know. Now, there's a lot of people like 13, so there's nothing wrong with liking them. It's just my opinion, you know. I dig any engine, really. I mean, except for sixes, I'm not a big six fan, so. But, they went three grand for it. came with extra floor pans. I mean, it had an engine transmission in it. I mean, it was a really slow car. But the one car that I saw up there, that if I had the cash, I would have bought. It was a 73... Plymouth Roadrunner, it was already sold, and he wanted twenty five hundred dollars for his car. And this car was, you know, it's one of my dream cars. Kind of like the Malibu out back here, just a dream car that I'd like to have. Because let's be honest, I'm probably never going to be able to afford the really cool Roadrunners. So why not get the next best thing? So same with satellite. I'm not a big fan of the, the later model satellites, early satellites like. I think it's 60 through 70, 67 through 70, something like that. The early ones. Now, 72, 3, 4, you know, and up. I don't really care for it. I think they're ugly, but it's my opinion. I guess I'm not a, I just, but yeah, if you guys are around Indianapolis, you know, Ohio, so like that, when you guys want to make a drive and you guys are building a Mopar, why not? There was tons and tons and Tons of B and E body shit, the B C E body shit. But as far as A body shit, there wasn't a lot of what I needed. There was some things, but so without further ado, here's the video. I rambled on. Sorry if I butchered some years on those cars I was talking about. I'm not like a diehard like Mark Woman, you know, knows every year. I just know what I like, so. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you guys want to see more of this content, please subscribe. Um, this 360 I'm leaning on, I'm still waiting on a comp, comp to see me the damn cam. After that, I just, like I said, I got a, I got a $900 order to place the jigs for parts. Um, I got another 100 to Rock Auto. So, have a little bit, but the car's worth it. I mean, in my opinion, a lot of people don't care for that girl. Never mind me using it as a workbench. I know you're not supposed to do that. But, but I mean, originally when I got the car, guys, I was going to put a big block Chrysler in it, but I decided against it. So, without further ado, Sorry for rambling on. Here's the video. Like and subscribe.